Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike for Mobox. And for you, it's only been a week since the last video, but for me, it's been a couple weeks. So we're gonna jump right into this. And I'm a little embarrassed by just how simple this um, lightning animation is to achieve. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing uh, just very simple built-in lightning effects in After Effects for use in all kinds of different projects. So we're just gonna go ahead and open up after Effects. And again, when I say that I'm embarrassed to show you how easy this is, it's it's literally a built-in tool that requires almost no effort at all. So we're just gonna create a new composition and I'm gonna go look to see what tutorial number this is. So this is gonna be tutorial 14014. Um, I think that's what I used to name them. But anyways, uh, 1080p, 60 frames a second. Um, we don't need it to be 30 seconds long. We really only need it to be like 10 seconds long. So we'll just say, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in just an object. You could really um, do this for any object or in any composition type, but um, I just had this pre-rendered um, photo of Master Chief from the game Halo. Um, if you're not familiar, when he gets shot, his armor kind of has electric you know, bolts and stuff coming off, you know, as he heals. Um, if you're curious to see a video regarding his armor, um, I'll put it on screen or in the link down in the description. Um, but I just did that on my main channel. So you could see this effect in motion. So what we're gonna do here is create a new layer, layer, new, solid. It doesn't matter what color it is. We'll just press okay. Um, and I'm just gonna come into the effects and presets section and I'm gonna search for lightning. And uh, here it is, Advanced Lightning under uh, gener Generate. Let's see here, I'm just gonna drag that right onto the layer and it gives us a nice bolt of lightning. I'm just gonna expand this effects control panel. Um, there's different types of lightning. So there's strike, which would be like, um, the lightning you know, is strikes down, um, breaking, which has a lot of forking and, um, stuff like that and it, it, there's just a bunch of different different ones bouncy um, which kind of play differently over time uh, again there's literally all kinds of different ones um, but the one that we're going to be looking at is just two-way strikes that way we have a start and we have an end um, that's just what works best for this application so basically here you have origin and direction so you could set an origin let's say here and you get a, could have a direction there, and it just creates a lightning bolt right there. So you could do this, I mean, any way you want. Um, yeah, but what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be animating these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create keyframes for this origin and direction, um, and then we'll come back to it later. So conductive state, there's all kinds. It kind of just depends on how, I guess, shocky it looks. Um, you could also animate this. So let's say you only wanted this lightning bolt to just stay there. You might animate this to kind of like show that it is like moving, um, but it's really up to you. But what you do notice is that as this moves, um, the lightning pattern changes. So if you're really only doing origin to direction, you don't really need to mess with this conductivity state. So the core settings, this is, and the glow settings, this is where you could change the colors. So for Master Chief, the glow is kind of like a yellowish. So I'm just gonna select the same yellow from his visor. And then the core, I'm just gonna select the orange part from his visor. And it may not look perfect. Um, just gonna zoom in here. Uh, you could change all the, like, the glow radius. You can make it super bright. You can make it almost not bright at all. Um, I kind of like some light brightness. And then I like to uh, make sure that the core is, is nice and dark for this application, but it really just depends on on, on what you need it to do or 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 how how you're gonna be, you know, doing your animation. So those settings look probably okay for this. Um, I might make the lightning a little more white. It, again, it, it doesn't really matter. All you need to know is that the glow is the outside and the core is the inside. So let's see, just finding a nice kind of balance of colors. Again, this doesn't really matter. I don't know why I'm spending time on it. Um, alpha doesn't really change anything from what I've seen. Um, I know what alpha is, but I, I don't appear to see any major benefits of using it. Um, turbulence, again, it just kind of is just how bouncy it is be between movements. So um, you just might want to mess with this, but you'll want to do it like after you start moving the origin and direction. 
Forking is like, let me make this a little bit more clear. Forking is exactly how many bolts of lightning are like coming off of it. Again, this kind of is just ugly. I don't know how we wound up with such ugly colors. Um, that looks a little better. That's a lot of forking. You might want to use this for something like um, the character from Star Wars or something. I'm just going to bring that down though. We don't really need too much forking. Light forking looks good. Um, and then you could have decay. So uh, what I actually like to do is sometimes I like to have high decay with high forking. So like there's a lot of like little pieces kind of strung out, but they don't really, they're not very bright. So anyways, there's some expert settings in here. Um, you may or may not want to mess with them. It's kind of up to you. For simple applications, you probably won't even need to do that. All you really need to do is kind of set this up. And once it's set up, you could just set the origin and direction. So in this white layer, I'm just going to rename it, right click lightning. Um, and now we're, now we're ready to start. So basically, I'm going to press you on the keyboard on the lightning. And we've got our keyframes here. Whoa, what did I do? I just broke something. All right, we're back. So now I have keyframes there. And then just what I like to do is really like every like 15 seconds, I like to change the position. So I'm actually going to change the original position um, of the origin. So I'm going to set the origin there, the direction there. And after about 15 seconds, I'm now going to change the origin and direction. So I like to, to make them staggered. So I don't want like I don't want them to both be going down at the same time. I think it looks cooler when one's faster. Again, it's kind of up to you. Whatever, whatever you'll you'll want to do is kind of up to you. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna make want to make sure that you properly put your origin and direction in in I guess believable spots. What I like to do is I like to follow natural like lines. That way, it makes it look a little more realistic and. It takes a little bit less effort to, um, I guess, clean it up later or or do work later. It, it just looks looks far more realistic, in my opinion, um, when you kind of make it just a little bit a little bit unnatural in terms of the way the movement works, but more natural in in the way the lightning is is touching and messing with, I guess, the surrounding environment. So. Um, for some reason I can't get this off screen. I don't know why, but anyways, that's fine. So what you'll see here when I zoom out is that the lightning kind of like travels, travels kind of around his suit and you might set up more like around his head and around his arms or anything like that. Um, but basically, you know, this kind of has a cool effect. It does have like a weird twisting action that happens right there. I appear to be, I appear to have accidentally flipped these at some point in time. Um, and that's going to mess up the, well, so it's going to have to flip eventually. But um, another effect I like to do on here is access to change the opacity. So if I press T on the keyboard instead of keyframe and then press U on the keyboard to see all the keys, I like to start the opacity at zero, um, then increase the opacity to maybe like 43 or, you know, I, I just like to kind of, to kind of mess with the opacity to it just kind of gives it a little bit more spice. And it makes it kind of look more like lightning that's like actually, you know, getting darker and lighter and, you know, increasing and decreasing in strength. That, I don't know. It, it's just an effect that I think adds a lot to the overall effect, um, especially when you have a lot of lightning bolts going by. Um, having them like different ones be the like main attraction at different points in time, I think looks really good. What I also like to do is I like to come in here and I like to stagger these up. I think that um, when they're a little more staggered, it looks a little less like everything's kind of happening in, in perfect synchronization. Um, what I do is I just mess around with these. There's literally no, um, I guess, mindset when it comes to this. It's just kind of whatever, however it's gonna work. So you can kind of see there that that it, it ends up like there becomes points in, in time that, that it looks really cool and it's all kind of natural. What I also like to do is I actually like to add some snapping to it via the graph editor. Um, I've got this tool here. Basically what, what this allows me to do is if I open up the graph editor and sh I could show you, it just kind of makes all of these smoother. 
because there's so many points, it's really hard to like add effects to this. So w when it snaps, it makes it, it just has like a little bit more character. It, it looks like it's actually like, you know, electricity or something. I, I don't know. Um, but, but you don't have to, you don't have to do that if, if you don't want to do it. In fact, that, that's almost a little too much. Might just do it only a little bit. Um, it just adds a little bit more character. But basically, what you do from here is now you you add more electricity. So um, I could I could basically just duplicate this layer because I like the color of the electricity. Um, I could start at the beginning. I could delete the keyframes, and I could start again. So I could say, okay, I want this lightning bolt to go um, from the top of his armor down. And of course it's transparent right now, so um, it's not gonna really look like anything. But basically what I'm doing is I'm making it now come across his visor, which should have a cool effect. And I'm just doing it every 10 seconds. Again, it, it really is just up to you exactly how you wanna execute this and, and how you want the electricity to work. So when I come there, and I'm gonna change the opacity readings. So I'm gonna increase the opacity. I'm going to decrease it. I'm gonna increase it again, decrease it, and just kind of, you know, it's pretty basic stuff here. It's just a combination of a few effects. Set that to zero, and now I'm gonna mess with these keyframes a little bit. So basically now, with the lightning bolt coming across his visor, and down and it just kind of adds a little bit you could even stagger this you can make this start a little bit later and basically you just do that a couple times and in a few different places and you get a really cool effect but anyways I hope I I shed some light on I don't think that's a word but I hope I shed some light on this um, electricity lightning um, effect built in After Effects. It's really handy, really useful. It saves like so much time. I don't even know how you do this without it. Um, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and be sure to let me know in the comments down below um, tutorials that, that you want to see in the future. Um, by the way, you can check out my main channel. Uh, it's MicroDolphy. It's linked pretty, pretty much everywhere on my channel. And you can see this, this in action. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.